Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and this is Going Gear episode six. So this week's episode, we're gonna talk about our flashlight comparison videos. So we're out here in the middle of nowhere in Georgia. It's the hottest day of the year. It was 109 degrees Fahrenheit earlier with no heat index or anything like that. Just the straight up temperature, it was 109 degrees. It's nice and humid. The bugs are crazy. They're flying all over the place. Probably the stupidest day of the year to do this, but uh, we're out here, we're gonna make some videos do some uh, new thrower videos. So we have targets out at one, two, and 300 yards, and then a tree line beyond that at about 400 yards. If you've never seen the videos before, definitely take a look at all the previous ones. Got close to 100 so far. We're probably gonna do another 40 or 50 tonight, just to show you the kind of distances that you can get out of some of our bigger and brighter lights. Uh, so what we're gonna do is gonna show you the kind of setup that we have and uh, the process that we use. Let's go ahead and go do that. So I've shown you in the past what 15,000 lumens from one of those XM18 looks like. And I uh, went out to Las Vegas a couple years ago and showed you what kind of distances you can get with it. But we have two XM18s out here, so I figured why not take advantage of that opportunity and show you what 30,000 lumens looks like. So uh, we're going to use those and show you what, where the targets are. Hopefully it doesn't just completely wash out the image. Let's uh, zoom in just so you can see where the targets are, are out there. Picked up some nice Halloween directions a couple years ago, decorations from uh, Big Lots a couple years ago. So we've got out there, let's see if I can get my finger lined up with those. So we've got 100, 200, and 300 yards, and the tree line back there is out there at about 400 yards. But you can see 30,000 lumens lights up stuff 400 yards and beyond pretty, pretty well. <laughs> so if you ever need that kind of lighting, you know where to get it. So people always ask about the lighting on the cameras. Just to show you, I'm using a Zebra Light H31 FW uh, headlamp and people always ask if it interferes with the shots. I usually keep it on low or medium and uh, with a really floody lens and the neutral beam and everything it's only good for about five or ten feet so I can assure you the 100, 200, and 300 yard targets it's not making that far and making it that far it's not interfering with the shots at all I promise. Just to show you what I mean I have the camera set up on all the exposure settings and everything that we're going to be using for the rest of the video. Headlamp is not on now headlamp is on. <laughs> so you can see, you can maybe light up a little bit down here. That's pretty much it. It definitely does not make it out to the targets at all. So this little bad boy is how I've been finding out the distances, little Leupold uh, laser range finder. So we've been actually getting really accurate distances tonight and setting up the targets and everything in the right place. You hear Casey's camera going crazy in the background. We've been taking a bunch of shots and we got that XM18 shining around to show him what it can actually really do. All done, time to clean up and go home.